Hello, Epic friends. Welcome to Monday's reading. We are in the book of Matthew, and we're going to be reading Matthew 5, 21 through 26. So make sure that you have your Bible so that you can follow along, read along, or listen. Um, you also want your journal so that as you are listening and um, reading along with us that you're able to write down some of the different things that you think about um, as it relates to the comma method. Um, and again, the comma method is a fun new way to understand and enjoy God's word as you're reading it. And so this guidebook you got, um, we go through what the comma method is. It's also back here on that last page as a reference for you to, to think about and to, to look back on as you're listening along. You can also hit pause um, so that you can read that. I'm gonna go through it really quick though, and so if you need to rewind um, and listen to what those things are that you're gonna be looking for as you um, read along with me, um, you can do that also. But the comma method, this, the letters in comma, help you um, remember ways that you can engage in, in the Bible and, and read along with us. And so the C in comma is for context. What's happening um, when this book of the Bible was written? And so flipping to that first page of the book of the Bible gives you an overview and, and gives you a great understanding of what's happening when this book was written at the time that this was written. The O in comma, observations. What do I see happening in this passage? A good way to remember observations is that our comma, um, lizard friend comma, loves treats, T-R-T-S. And so those, those letters, treats, the first T stands for the theme. So that big bold heading at the top of that passage it gives you a good idea of what the theme of that passage is going to be. The R in treats is repeating words or ideas, so look for things that, that are said over and over again, because if they're said over and over again or repeated, God wants you to know them, and so you can highlight those things. Um, the other T in treats is truths about God. What does this passage tell you about God? Um, and then that S is something striking, something that stands out to you. Um, so those are things that you can be thinking about um, with the O, observations, as you observe what's happening in this passage. That first M in comma is message, stands for message. What does God say? A good way to remember um, what to think about when you're thinking about message is with the acronym SPECS. So comma loves his specs. Um, and so the S in spec stands for sins to confess. Is there a sin to confess in this passage? A promise to claim is the P, um, something, the promise that God has made for his people. The E in specs, example to follow, um, showing you how you can live. The C in specs is commands to obey. Is there a command that God has given us? And then the S in specs is statements about God. Is there something about God that you now know after reading this that you didn't know about before? Um, and so those are things to consider as you look at those letters in the word comma. Um, that second M is meditate. So you can hit pause, you can take some time, listen to worship music, just take some time and think about what you've, um, what you've heard and, um, and then um, write all those things down again that you've thought about um, or that have, uh, that have occurred to you as you've read through. Write them down in your journal. <laughs> and then that A in comma, super important, is application. What are you gonna do? Now that you have read this, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to apply it to your life? All right, so we are going to get started. Again, we are in a Matthew um, part one, Matthew 5, 21 through 26. All right, so read along, follow along, or listen. Murder. You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder. And anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. Settle matters quickly with your adversary who is talking, taking you to court. 
Do it while you are still together on the way or your adversary may hand you over to the judge and the judge may hand you over to the officer and you may be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. All right, so go back through, rewind and listen to what comma means or refer to this last page um, so that you can be thinking about these different things. What is repeating? Um, what repeating theme has gone through this? Um, repeating words or ideas. Um, is there a truth about God? Is there something that stood out to you um, as you're reading this? You know, was there something symbolic or um, so? Yes. So think about all of those things and go ahead and take some time. Think about them and then write them down in your journal. We will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.